Hey guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a monthly favorites video. Is that? Oh my god, it's a fucking fire! No, mom, like your hair, Gigi. Oh my god, oh my god. So let's keep it moving. I'm doing a monthly favorites today, but it's not only for the month of June. It's going to be basically for the month of June, February, March, April, May, and June because I've been a bad girl and I've missed these monthly favorites videos. I have so many products, makeup, clothing, bags, skincare. I have alcohol here. I just cannot. This is literally going to be the monthly favorites video to end all monthly favorites videos. First and foremost, though, I wanted to talk about Israel. So I posted two vlogs about visiting Jerusalem and then another one visiting the Dead Sea and riding a camel and my first video got a lot of hate and I just kind of thought you know people are just gonna hate on whatever but then people kept asking me about it oh my god when are you gonna address all the hate on the Israel video and I was just like do I really have to I mean I think it goes without saying that I wasn't trying to be offensive and if I was I truly do apologize if I offended you or your culture I really truly was just trying to have fun with the video and Tel Aviv is actually one of my favorites recently I had so much fun there I mean I love Israel so much I came back with t-shirts I can't wait to go back and bring my friends to the Dead Sea and all that stuff. It was so much fun. But moving along, I have three bags that I want to share today. This first one being my pink Gucci bag. I got this bag a while ago, but Gucci's new stuff has been insane. I just wanted to shout them out really fast. I also was gifted another Gucci bag. My girlfriend's mom got me this bag. And Gucci is kind of like our thing. So I, obviously being the nosy little girl that I am, I went online and I was like, I need to know, you know, what collection this is from. I want to see like all the details of the bag. So I went online and I couldn't find it. So I was like, I went to ask her and I was like, um, where did you get this? Did you special order this or whatever? So I guess Gucci does one of a kind limited edition purses and pieces and she actually picked one of them up for me. But when I found that out, it didn't make the present better, but it just was like, I kind of gagged a little bit on it. I was like, are you kidding me? This is mine. I wore it for like two weeks and now it's just sitting with my other handbags. If I like got it dirty or ruined it or lost it or had it stolen, I would not be able to forgive myself. And the third handbag is actually another one from Gucci that I left at a friend's house. It's the black suede velvety handbag that says loved on the top in pearls. I have been obsessed with that handbag and I have absolutely no excuse for why I left it there, but it is a huge favorite. I got it this month and I love it so, so, so much. Gucci's new stuff is literally just <laughs> Next, I wanted to talk about the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe that I feel like everyone and their mother is talking about. I gagged when I got this in the mail because I saw it online and honestly, the variety of textures and shades is seriously amazing. This is literally like my palette. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I was so, so happy when I got it in the mail because it's kind of just like a one-stop shop. I love doing neutral looks and there are so many gorgeous neutrals in here and the blue colors that she chose with the purple is so cute on days where I'm feeling a little adventurous. I mean, it's just like Jaclyn Hill can do no wrong. First, the Becca highlighter, which is one of my favorites. And now this palette, I'm like, yes, girl. Kill the game. Ooh, staying on the gold trend of the handbag, I have been obsessed with this Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold mask. I've kind of had like a little fascination with the gold masks. My girlfriend and I always do the sheet masks, which I hate because you just have to like stay like this for 20 minutes and I like have so much expression in my face and I love talking and like laughing and just like being a human. If you move, it like shifts and you have to readjust and then your hands are all dirty. So this is a nice alternative to a sheet mask because this is just goop. You can like put it all over your face. I just feel super bougie when I use this because it's like 24 karat gold. I love the Peter Thomas Roth collection as well. Their skincare always really just makes my skin feel hydrated and lit. Just the formula agrees with me. And this one is for lifting, firming, brightening, and soothing and refreshing. So it's really not a serious like game changer or anything, but I just like to do it after I do an exfoliating mask or just if at night I'm feeling a little bit bougie or something. Also another package that I was really excited to get was the Jeffree Star Liquid, I think it's called the Lip Ammunition Kit. It came in this big pink box, which I I have since thrown out in the recycling. I want to keep the world green. These are all of the objects which came inside. I have the three lip scrubs in orange soda, watermelon, and blue raspberry sucker. I've tried his root beer. They just don't want to stay in my hands. I've tried his root beer float one, which is really cute. I honestly don't lip scrub enough. I feel like for the amount I've gotten my lips done, they should be more dry and like I should be having to scrape them off, but I'm like fine. It's weird. So there's a bunch of liquid lipsticks and a bunch of his new... Ooh. 
I can't keep these in my hands. I'm wearing flamboyant right now, which I am obsessed with. I feel like there's like a little bit of glitter in it, but it's just kind of like a chrome texture and it's really, really nice. I've also been living and dying for Calabasas. It's just this perfect muted pink. It kind of reminds me of his previous lipstick, Doll Parts. When I tried it on, I was like, oh, I'll just give this one a whirl. I just brought it with me in my purse and I gagged. I like gagged so hard that I like whipped out my phone and I texted him and I was like, bitch, you killed Calabasas. Like, it's like not normal. It's such a good shade. So I don't know if you have to buy it in the bundle or you can buy them separately, but Calabasas and Flamboyant, girl, just dead. Next, Sandra Deluxe, who is my fellow Canadian. She has this product called Gleam Body Radiance, and I watched a few of her tutorials, and she uses it on her face, which I think is weird. I mean, maybe I should try it. But my friend put me on to using this on my legs, and it's so beautiful and pigmented with glitter. I don't know if it's like transfer resistant, but it's this beautiful like gold color, and it just looks really good with or without a spray tan just to give your body that sheen. I can't imagine using this on my face though. Sandra, you're a ballsy one. I don't know what else to say. So that product's been lit. I actually use that all the time in Tel Aviv. And speaking of Tel Aviv, on the plane there or back, let's just get my favorite movie and my favorite book out of the way. I watched Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson. I was kind of a little bit skeptical, I would say. I mean, I was very excited because high budget movies with like amazing graphics always like just turn me on. I'm like, yes, bitch, give me more. Yeah. Especially Beauty and the Beast, which is such like an iconic story. I was like really excited to see how they did it. I was not disappointed. I'm just gonna say that. I was like on the airplane, like crying, making a fool out of myself. It was just really, really, really well done. And for anybody that knows me, when I go on a plane, I just, I get emotional. I don't know why. Even if I'm with all my friends, it's just like, I feel like I'm moving on somewhere different and leaving the past behind. It just gets emotional. I don't know. It's weird. But Beauty and the Beast had me going through it. I think the person beside me was like, is she going to be okay? I was doing like the <laughs> cry. It's like when they fall in love at the end. Oh, when he's like insecure. It's like, I can Anyways, that's definitely my favorite movie of the month. As far as favorite book of the month, obviously you guys know I am obsessed with my Audible app, which I have on my iPhone. I've started The Secrets of My Life from Caitlyn Jenner, and I've heard a lot of good and bad things about this book, but Caitlyn is my sister and she's narrating this, so I have to give my sister a chance and read it for myself. So far, it's really, really good, but I can't wait to get into more secrets, because you know, I'm a little cheese mosa. I love a good secret. <laughs> you guys aren't familiar with Audible. I am a firm believer in audiobooks. They're so much easier and more fun to listen to. You can listen to them when you're doing your makeup, in the car, traveling, when you don't want to be watching a movie or TV. And Audible has hundreds of thousands of books. So you'll be able to find a title that's right for you. If you go to audible.com slash GG, you can have a 30 day free trial on the website. Comment down below what book you guys are reading right now, but I think that we should all be reading the Caitlyn Jenner book just because, I mean, everyone's talking about it. Next, I mentioned that I had alcohol here in this video. So I got a package in the mail and it was kind of heavy and I was like, this is like weird. Is this like some kind of makeup palette or something? I open it up and it's like Smirnoff and I was like, <laughs> Am I getting sponsored by Smirnoff? Yes! But I opened it up and I guess they did this special edition vodka. I opened it up to find out that I have a picture of myself on this bottle and it says, Love wins, limited edition design. Smirnoff vodka. And the Smirnoff is kind of like in a rainbow. I decided that I will not be drinking this vodka. I'm going to be keeping it forever. If the bottle doesn't shatter. This is the first time I'm wearing my hair straight in probably like, I'm gonna say two months, which is excessive. I used to switch all the time and now I woke up this morning and I was like, why don't I wear my hair straight ever? And I'm kind of like feeling it. I'm like back. Do you like my hair straight? I like my hair bangs. Oh, are you seeing my forehead's big? I was getting my hair done by Chad Wood. If you guys don't know him, check him out on Instagram. He's amazing. I worked with him on a shoot and it was actually a cover shoot coming soon. I'm so excited. It's so different from me. You're going to be like, is that even Gigi? Anyways, he was using this product on me and I was like, oh, what is that? Because I'm always like curious about whatever anybody's using. And he said, oh my God, funny you ask. I was just put on this product and it is life changing. So I was like, okay, tell me all about it. This is the Bedhead Full of It Volume Finishing Spray. And this is something I would have not normally picked up just because finishing spray girl I'd rather just do a firm hairspray but he said any style you do it will lock it in it is not going anywhere so if you do tight ringlet curls and spray this those curls are not gonna fall and if you do straight hair you just spray a little bit of this on your locks are gonna be staying sleek and straight so I'm testing that theory out today on straight hair usually when I straighten my hair I don't like to put any like hairspray or anything in it usually I'll just do like an oil if that but Chad Wood 
I'm taking your advice and I'm trying it on straight hair today and we shall see. You guys know I love a glitter leg spray. This is the Magic in the Air Diamond Shimmer Mist from Bath & Body Works. Now that it's summer, it's just more of an excuse to shimmer. Honestly, I just like shimmering all year round because when you're in dresses, you want your legs to look cute and stuff. So I picked up the Bath & Body Works Shimmer Mist and this stuff is just amazing. Honestly, there's no other product that does it well enough. I was actually at like Nigel's and I was like, hey, do you guys have any like Shimmer Mist? Thinking that they would have like an aisle of it. They don't have any. So I feel like Bath & Body Works, you guys kind of kill it. And I like this one because there's no color to it. If I do get a color, I'll get like an orange or a pink just so my skin's like glowing. I don't really mess with the blue ones because it's like, I don't want blue legs. So this is literally a summer essential for me. I cannot go out of the house without shimmering. And it makes me happy too when I'm like driving in the car or like, you know, laying out. I'm like, oh, look at my glittery legs. Yes. Speaking of laying out, I've been obsessed with Triangle for like years now. If you guys don't know Triangle bikinis, they are honestly some of the best bikinis. Most of them are made out of neoprene. I know this summer they're introducing a lot of new textures into their collection. This one is actually called the Gigi Bikini. And I literally bought like 15 bikinis from the website at once and I just grabbed this one to show you guys And this one is in a size medium because my boobs aren't the smallest things in the world But they're not huge and then the bottoms I get in a size small the neoprene is really really nice because it dries fast So if you're in and out of the pool, you're not gonna have that like wet soggy feeling which is like even disgusting to talk about Just like swamp crotch <clears throat> I can't even believe I just said that. Oh, look, the crowd is like hitting me in the face. They have so many different styles, but if you are on the website, go pick up the Gigi to support. And every bikini you get comes in this cute little bag. You can use it as like a backpack or something like that. You know, those like string type backpacks. It comes in the same material and color as the bikini, which is such a cute touch. I don't really use this bag to be honest, but it's cute to like have for storage. I have so many products here. I'm just like whizzing through them, sorry. I've been wearing these sunglasses a lot. If you guys follow me on Snap, you might have seen me in these. These are frames by Dolce & Gabbana and I love the nautical print of the case. So cute. They have a whole nautical theme. I like bought out that collection with the bikini and the sandals and these sunglasses are no exception. I had to have them. They're little nautical frames with little like seahorses on the side. It's like honestly a little bit ridiculous but I don't care. They're so cute. And the fact that they have this like mirror frame is something that I always look for in sunglasses because I don't like people seeing my eyes when I have sunglasses on. I wear sunglasses to like be sneaky and like look wherever I want, you know? I'm not trying to like look in your eyes and like, bitch, no, I'm looking somewhere else. They just reminded me of like the Little Mermaid and stuff. I feel like I don't shop as much online, but if I'm in the store, I turn into this like shopping addict monster. I'm like, that too, that too. You want one? Random stranger in the store? You get one too, yeah! And then by the time I'm done, I'm like, I'm broke. Mm. Moving on, speaking of summer and bikinis, I've been loving this Zena, Zena Foster, I think it's called. It's basically a mitt you put on and it's to use in a, uh, <clears throat> it's to use as an exfoliator before you spray tan. I'm always looking for a really, really harsh, like steel wool at this point. Spray tan just sticks to my skin and it's so hard to get it all off. And this mitt has been amazing. I use it all the time. It really just gets everything off, especially of like on your armpits and stuff, like the nasty spots that like literally just do not come off. It kills it. Moving back to makeup, Tarte came out with these clay stick foundations and the packaging is so cute and chic. It's like a little bullet. The top kind of has this like rock. It looks like a sedimentary rock or like a marble or something on it. I can't believe I even know what a sedimentary rock is. I don't use this as foundation. I'll use this as more of like a cream contour. I love how easy it is to apply and you just like roll it back down and throw it away. You don't have to worry about it. I've been seeing a lot of people obsessed with doing the highlight as well, but obviously I have a concealer for that. So I just use the clay stick for cream contour specifically. Also another product that I've been loving and I have every single color are the Stila Magnificent Metals. Is that even what it is called? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These have been taking the internet by storm I feel and there are so many colors. I feel like I'm not done an eyeshadow look without one of these unless I'm going for like a matte 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 eye but if I'm doing anything with a little bit of shimmer or glitter or you know like texture to it I'm like okay where are my steel of glitters? Where? Tell me. They come in so many colors I honestly kind of stick to like the gold and the rose gold and the lighter tones but was it fate that this black one was the last one in my hand as I was dropping all of them? This is Molten Midnight. This would be sick for like a dark dark smoky eye. 
I don't know why I just thought to smell it, but I had never smelled it before. If you guys haven't tried these, you really need to get on it. I've been getting into steel and makeup recently too, but these are definitely a fave. Speaking of shimmery and highlighting, these are the Cover FX Custom Drops. Honestly, if it was like socially acceptable, I would just put this all over my body and my face because the highlight is insane. I was in New York for brand cast. I know this is so long ago, but I remember my friend did my highlight with this Cover FX product and he put it over my powdered face and I was like, oh my God, it's gonna look so bad. Bad, don't do it. He was like, no, 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 it's fine. Let's experiment. So he did it with my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender. My face was beat. I was already late walking out the door and he's putting this on my face with a damp beauty blender. I was like, am I even going to make it out the door? Or am I just going to be like, my face is fucked. Let me just stay inside. It turned out looking so bomb. I remember when I walked out of the hotel, there were a few girls standing there and I heard that highlight though. And that is all the confidence I needed for that night. I was like, yes, bitch, I'm gleaming. This highlight is like no other highlight I've ever tried. It really is like liquid metal. It's insane. It's so, so pretty on and I need more colors than Celeste. I need like a gold or something for my body. Okay, so last two makeup products. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Lily Lashes. If you guys are ever wondering what lashes I have on, they're most likely Lily Lashes. They're such nice quality and I feel like they open up my eyes and just are so flattering and they also come really, really long. I feel like I have long eyes. Like I never had to cut my lashes before, but Lily Lashes are the kind of lashes where it's like I have to cut them because the band is so long, which is nice because on days where I do liquid eyeliner, I like to have the, the lashes kind of carry on. It opens up my eye. And this pair is actually one of my favorites. These are the Mink Miami lashes. They kind of have that like spider leg look, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I can't get enough of it. Like if I could just put on like five pointy lashes, I would be happy. I would just be living my life as an anime character. And I think I'd be a nicer person. And last but not least, this is another Tarte product. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I have all three and I would have to say this one is probably my favorite. Recently, these shadows are what I've been using to set the Magnificent Metals liquid shadow on top of my lid just because I feel like it sets it really nice. There's no creasing and the colors kind of match. So it's really, really nice. And as always, I love the packaging of Tarte products. So cute. This one's like a little piece peacock and the circle mirror is super cute so if I'm ever in like a hotel or something like that where I don't like the lighting situation which I try to avoid it's like a nice sized compact where you can see your whole face and you're not kind of like looking up in like a little Mac compact which is a nightmare all right, so that was all for my monthly favorites for June, aka the past three months. My house is now completely covered in products and handbags and bikinis and vodka. So it just goes in dirt. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been liking down in the comments, and I will check it out for next month. I promise not to be this late to another monthly favorites. I know I've been a bad girl. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.